A flow battery, or redox flow battery, is a type of rechargeable battery where rechargeability is provided by two chemical components dissolved in liquids contained within the system and separated by a membrane. Ion exchange occurs through the membrane while both liquids circulate in their own respective space. Cell voltage is chemically determined by the Nernst equation and ranges, in practical applications, from 1.0 to 2.2 volts. A flow battery is technically akin both to a fuel cell and an electrochemical accumulator cell. While it has technical advantages such as potentially separable liquid tanks and near unlimited longevity over most conventional rechargeables, current implementations are comparatively less powerful and require more sophisticated electronics. Construction principle, a flow battery is a rechargeable fuel cell in which an electrolyte containing one or more dissolved electroactive elements flow through an electrochemical cell that reversibly converts chemical energy directly to electricity. Additional electrolyte is stored externally, generally in tanks, and is usually pumped through the cell of the reactor, although gravity feed systems are also known. Flow batteries can be rapidly recharged by replacing the electrolyte liquid while simultaneously recovering the spent material for re-energization. In other words, a flow battery is just like an electrochemical cell, with the exception that the ionic solution is not stored in the cell around the electrodes. Rather, the ionic solution is stored outside of the cell, and can be fed into the cell in order to generate electricity. The total amount of electricity that can be generated depends on the size of the storage tanks. Types, different classes of flow cells have been developed, including redox, hybrid and membraneless. The fundamental difference between conventional batteries and flow cells is that energy is stored as the electrode material in conventional batteries but as the electrolyte in flow cells. Equals redox equals the redox cell is a reversible fuel cell in which all electrochemical components are dissolved in the electrolyte. The energy capacity of the redox flow battery is fully independent of its power, because the energy available is related to the electrolyte volume and the power to the surface area of the electrodes. Redox flow batteries are rechargeable. Because they employ heterogeneous electron transfer rather than solid state diffusion or intercalation, they are more appropriately called fuel cells than batteries. In industrial practice, fuel cells are usually, and unnecessarily, considered to be primary cells, such as the H, 2 O, 2 system. The unitized regenerative fuel cell on NASA's Helios prototype is another reversible fuel cell. The European Patent Organization classifies redox flow cells as a subclass of regenerative fuel cells. Examples of redox flow batteries are the vanadium redox flow battery, polysulfide bromide battery, and uranium redox flow battery. Redox fuel cells are less common commercially although many systems have been proposed. Researchers announced a prototype, zinc polyiodide flow battery with an energy density of 167 Wh per litre. Older zinc bromide cells reach 70 Wh per litre. For comparison, lithium iron phosphate batteries that store 233 Wh per litre. The zinc polyiodide battery is claimed to be safer than other flow batteries given its absence of acidic electrolytes, non-flammability and operating range of a 4 to 122 a degree Fahrenheit that does not require extensive cooling circuitry, which would add weight and occupy space. One unresolved issue is zinc buildup that grew from the negative electrode and permeated the membrane, reducing efficiency. Adding alcohol to the electrolyte contained the problem. When the battery is fully discharged, both tanks hold the same electrolyte solution, a mixture of positively charged zinc ions and negatively charged iodide ion, I. When charged, one tank holds another negative ion, polyiodide, I3. The battery produces power by pumping liquid from external tanks into the battery stack area where the liquids are mixed. Inside the stack, Zinc ions pass through a selective membrane and change into metallic zinc on the stack's negative side. Traditional flow battery chemistries have both low specific energy and low specific power. However, recently a high aerial power of 1.4 WCM2 has been demonstrated for hydrogen bromine flow batteries, and a high specific energy has been shown for hydrogen bromate flow batteries. Equals hybrid equals 
the hybrid flow battery uses one or more electroactive components deposited as a solid layer. In this case, the electrochemical cell contains one battery electrode and one fuel cell electrode. This type is limited in energy by the surface area of the electrode. Hybrid flow batteries include the zinc bromine, zinc eurocerium and lead euroacid flow batteries. Equals membraneless equals, this battery employs a phenomenon called laminar flow in which two liquids are pumped through a channel. They undergo electrochemical reactions to store or release energy. The solutions stream through in parallel, with little mixing. The flow naturally separates the liquids, eliminating the need for a membrane. Membranes are often the most costly component and the most unreliable components of batteries, as they can corrode with repeated exposure to certain reactants. The absence of a membrane enabled the use of a liquid bromine solution and hydrogen. This combination is problematic when membranes are used, because they form hydrobromic acid that can destroy the membrane. Both materials are available at low cost. The design uses a small channel between two electrodes. Liquid bromine flows through the channel over a graphite cathode and hydrobromic acid flows under a porous anode. At the same time, hydrogen gas flows across the anode. The chemical reaction can be reversed to recharge the battery a euro a first for any membraneless design. One such membraneless flow battery published in August 2013 produced a maximum power density of 7950 watts per meter to three times as much power as other membraneless systems a euro and an order of magnitude higher than lithium ion batteries equals organic equals in 2013 researchers announced the use of 9 10 anthraquinone 2 7 disulfonic acid aquinone as a charge carrier in metal free flow batteries. Each of the carbon based molecules holds two units of electrical charge, compared with one unit in conventional batteries, implying that a battery could store twice as much energy in a given volume. AQDS undergoes rapid, reversible 2 electron 2 proton reduction on a glassy carbon electrode in sulfuric acid. An aqueous flow battery with inexpensive carbon electrodes. Combining the quine and hydrokinin couple with a Br, 2 slash Brow redox couple, yields a peak galvanic power density exceeding 6,000 watts per meter 2 at 13,000 Aries per meter 2. Cycling showed greater than 99% storage capacity retention per cycle. Volumetric energy density was over 50 watt hours per liter and specific energy density over 50 watt hours per kilogram. The organic anthraquinin species can be synthesized from inexpensive commodity chemicals. This organic approach permits tuning of the reduction potential and solubility by adding functional groups. Adding two hydroxy groups to AQDS increases the open circuit potential of the cell by 11%. In 2014, another example used anthraquinin 2 sulfonic acid or anthraquinin 2, 6 disulfonic acid on the negative side and 1. 2 dihydrobenzokinin 3, 5 disulfonic acid on the positive side. The battery was claimed to last for 5,000 cycles without degradation. In 2015, researchers had improved the chemistry and replaced the hydrobromic acid used as an electrolyte with a far less toxic alkaline solution and ferrocyanide. The cell voltage was 1.2. Equals metal hydride equals. Proton flow batteries integrate a metal hydride storage electrode into a reversible proton exchange membrane fuel cell. During charging, PFB combines hydrogen ions produced from splitting water with electrons and metal particles in one electrode of a fuel cell. The energy is stored in the form of solid state metal hydride. Discharge produces electricity and water when the process is reversed and the protons are combined with ambient oxygen. Metals less expensive than lithium can be used and provide greater energy density than lithium cells. Equals nano network equals, in 2014 a technology was announced that uses lithium eurosulfur chemistry arranged in a network of nanoparticles. The network eliminates the requirement that charge moves in and out of particles that are in direct contact with a conducting plate. Instead, the nanoparticle network allows electricity to flow throughout the liquid. This allows more energy to be extracted. In August 2014, 
The Quanti Sport Limousine was approved for testing on public roads using the Nina Flauchella registered trademark system with a claimed energy or power density of 600 WH per kilogram. Equals semi solid equals, in a semi solid flow cell, the positive and negative electrodes are composed of particles suspended in a carrier liquid. The positive and negative suspensions are stored in separate tanks and pumped through separate pipes into a stack of adjacent reaction chambers, where they are separated by a barrier such as a thin, porous membrane. The approach combines the basic structure of aqueous flow batteries, which use electrode material dissolved in a liquid electrolyte, with the chemistry of lithium-ion batteries. Dissolving a material changes its chemical behavior significantly. However, Suspending bits of solid material preserves the solid's characteristics. The result is a viscous suspension that flows like molasses. Equals polymer equals, a novel flow battery concept that is based on redox active, organic polymers and dialysis membranes was announced in 2015. The polymer-based redox flow battery uses functionalized macromolecules being dissolved in water as active material for the anode as well as the cathode. Thereby, Metals and strongly corrosive electrolytes are euro like vanadium salts in sulfuric acid a euro are avoided and simple dialysis membranes can be employed. The membrane, which separates the cathode and the anode of the flow cell, works like a strainer and is produced much more easily and at lower cost than conventional ion selective membranes. It retains the bigger euro o spaghetti euro like polymer molecules, while allowing the small counterions to pass. Chemistries, there are a wide range of chemistries that have been tried for flow batteries. Advantages and disadvantages, redox flow batteries, and to a lesser extent hybrid flow batteries, have the advantages of flexible layout, long cycle life, quick response times, no need for equalization charging and no harmful emissions. Some types also offer easy state of charge determination, low maintenance and tolerance to overcharge over discharge. On the negative side, flow batteries are rather complicated in comparison with standard batteries as they may require pumps, sensors, control units and secondary containment vessels. The energy densities vary considerably but are, in general, rather low compared to portable batteries, such as the Li-ion. Applications, flow batteries are normally considered for relatively large stationary applications. These are for, load balancing a euro where the battery is connected to an electrical grid to store excess electrical power during off-peak hours and release electrical power during peak demand periods. The common problem limiting the use of most flow battery chemistries in this application is their low aerial power which translates into a high cost of power. Storing energy from renewable sources such as wind or solar for discharge during periods of peak demand. Peak shaving, where spikes of demand are met by the battery. UPS where the battery is used if the main power fails to provide an uninterrupted supply. Power conversion a euro, because all cells share the same electrolyte S. Therefore, the electrolyte S may be charged using a given number of cells and discharged with a different number. Because the voltage of the battery is proportional to the number of cells used the battery can therefore act as a very powerful DC a euro DC converter. In addition, if the number of cells is continuously changed power conversion can also be AC-DC, AC-AC, or DC-A-Euro-AC with the frequency limited by that of the switching gear. Electric vehicles are Euro, because flow batteries can be rapidly recharged by replacing the electrolyte, they can be used for applications where the vehicle needs to take on energy as fast as a combustion engine vehicle. A common problem found with most RFB chemistries in the EV applications is their low energy density which translated into a short driving range. Flow batteries based on highly soluble halates are a notable exception. Standalone power system a euro an example of this is the telecom industry for use in cell phone base stations where there is no grid power available. The battery can be used alongside solar or wind power sources to compensate for their fluctuating power levels and alongside a generator to make the most efficient use of it to save fuel. Currently, flow batteries are being used in solar microgrid applications throughout the Caribbean. See also References External links Electropedia on flow batteries, 
Research on the Uranium Redox Flow Battery, How Flow Batteries Work on YouTube.